we will continue that with the definition of one blade. Again, defining lines and arcs on that path. Also tangent arc uh, as much as possible. And here we are going to define an arc and go to the end as close to where it should be. And then of course define, we define some more information on In this area, we are going to create a line because we will need to make a, a draft and we don't want to make a draft on a fillet. We will make a draft on a, either a plane or an extrusion. So we create a line and we handle the, the rounds a little bit later. And we trim everything on the, on the sketch and we continue by extruding this sketch up to the body on the top or just defining some values if you want to uh, and on the other side also go with the value on the bottom you cannot go up to the body because this shape is over the body on the inside so you will, we will need to trim it afterwards without so we just create that without cut or merge and now we're going to take care of the of the inside where we did the flaps. And on this area, we are going to create a draft angle. So here, just launch the draft functionality, a draft function, and just select the neutral plane and the face. And just include here a value. Here, I just put 22 degrees. Uh, in the right direction, of course, and to help you to decide and to define the right value, you can just go to display and put some transparency on solid bodies. And that will help you to understand and define the right value. So here, it looks pretty good in terms of draft angle. So we can accept that. And of course, we will finish that with a fillet. Uh, to have a good shape, we will make a full face fillet on this area to have perfect shape and perfect round value. 